I look at sort of the relation between China and Tibet as a two uh, neighboring um, uh, people who never found a comfortable way of accommodating each other. And um, because that is to look at the idea, because there's a really lot of popular assumption somehow Tibet issue is essentially part of the Cold War, or the Tibet issue is essentially engineered by the West for um, anti-Chinese propaganda. But this uh, doesn't take into account of the complexity of the history from the 7th century to the 20th century to 21st century, the problem has never been resolved. So I wanted to look at this in, in sort of long historical process of accommodation and resistance between Tibet and China.